and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the whole to the program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Evans. Gracious God, our Father, most holy and everlasting God, Lord, we once come before you again, Lord God. Lord God, we're thanking you for being the God that you are, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to the cross to die for the sins of the world. Lord God, we thank you for bringing us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Now, Lord, we pray and ask, Lord, that you will help us through our trials and tribulations. Lord God, help those who are having trouble through temptations, Lord God. Lord God, bless those who are sick in the body today, Lord God, and praying for healing, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will answer their prayers today, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we ask, as we're in the last days, Lord God, that you will continue your word to be preached in spirit and in truth. We right now, Lord God, ask that you bless Bishop Josie Tisdale to bring forth the word, Lord God, cutting to the heart, Lord God, by thy spirit, the souls of men and women across the world today. Lord God, let someone, Lord God, open up their hearts and minds to your word, Lord God, that they might recognize that they're laying in sin, Lord God, and close to death, Lord God. Bring them to repentance, Lord God, and bless us all over the world who is listening to this broadcast, Lord God, that we might continue to strive for salvation, Lord God, and strive to obey your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole Truth the Program. Now, at this time, the choir render a selection entitled, I Don't Know Why Jesus Loved Me, being led by Brother Keith Parker. <laughs> And now, it is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. 
We are thankful and do give praises always to our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. We are thankful again to be able to stand for a witness unto Jesus Christ. To let you know that he loves everybody. Amen. Doesn't matter if you're evil or wicked, he still loves you. He just hates sin. Amen. We do greet everybody, all of our views and listeners. We are enjoying the last day of our great semi-annual convention. The Lord has been with us through it all. We have been enjoying the goodness of the Lord. Because he is the only one that is good, you know. We are not any good, but he's good. So we have to stick with Jesus Christ. Thank God for all of the saints here that have traveled from many cities away. Thank God that you're here today. We have come together to enjoy one another in the Lord. Giving Jesus Christ the praises and the honor for everything he has done for the church. Amen. We are thanking him for it today. Yeah. Greet everybody with love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are saturated with the name of the Lord. Amen. We are saturated with Jesus Christ. No other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. So you may as well get familiar with Jesus Christ, and I hope it is in the pardon of your sins, so when you go before him in the judgment seat of Christ, you'll have an understanding for sure whether you have done it or not. And we hope everybody can do it, so when you go before him, he can congratulate you in and say, come in. Amen. And we don't want the Lord to say to us, depart, I never knew you. Never knew you because you wouldn't obey and you didn't have the spirit of God. And God only knows us by his spirit. Amen. Fifth chapter of 2 Corinthians. All of us have to go before the judgment seat of Christ. And I hope everybody would take heed to the word of God. And when you go before his judgment, the judgment seat of Christ, we'll find out that everything is well with your soul. Isn't this wonderful? Amen. I wanted to be well with my soul. Amen. Amen. And here upon this earth is the dressing room right. where we can get ready to meet the bridegroom. Well, the bridegroom is coming, you know. Oh, yeah. Amen. And when he comes, he say he's coming quickly. Man. So I'm believing the word over everything in the world. What the word say, Rita? Second Corinthians 5 and 10. All right. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Now listen, let that saturate your hearts a little bit, your mind. Man. We are all is many things we have been left out on and hope we had an opportunity to have been in it. But here's one thing. We all have an opportunity to stand before Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. You better hope and pray that your heart have been changed. Amen. Amen. God have taken away the stony heart. And have given you a heart of flesh yeah. where you can understand what Jesus Christ is saying. Holy. He's speaking to the church, you know. Amen. This is the spirit that speaks to the church. Amen. And God going to speak until he comes. That's right. And I say to you, when he comes, time is out. Time is out now. Amen. Whatever state you're in, that's where you're going to remain. That's why we better try to be holy as the word of God tells us all the days of our life. Amen. You don't know what day he's going to appear. 
Angels in heaven don't know it. That's right. I, God, only God knows it. And when he comes, he's coming with his reward. Amen. I thank God I want my reward to be eternal life. Oh, yeah. I said, that's what I want. Amen. Amen. Because we all, you won't cut class on this. Yeah, you might got out of school and did your whatever, but you won't cut class on Jesus Christ. The word says we all, we all, we must all, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Do you understand this? Right. God bringing us all before the judgment seat for what we have done. That's right. Amen. That everyone, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. Re may receive the things done in his body. I, I, I like to warn people and let you know, amen, I want to warn people. I, I know that you may not want to take it, but I'm supposed to warn you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that right? Amen. The Lord sent Ezekiel the prophet. He said, warn them from me. Yeah. Tell them what's going on. Tell them what's going to happen. Amen. And Ezekiel did what God said to him. Warn him. Warn him from me. Yeah. That's what we want to do today. Warn people from Jesus Christ. Warn you. Amen. He's a God that we shouldn't play with because he is a consuming fire. Amen. And the Bible says we ought to have a godly fear about Jesus Christ. Reverence. Is that right? That's right. Give him reverence. reverence. Yeah. But godly fear. Amen. We have to fear the Lord Jesus That's Christ. That's right. My God, you say, well, what does that mean? I, I, I know you heard about Jesus Christ, right? Yeah, you heard about what he can do, right? Is that right? Oh, let, let me slay this in the, right in here right now. Have you ever heard about a rattlesnake? Mm. Oh, yeah. I want to ask you a question. Do you think you would fail that rattlesnake? Absolutely. You think you would fail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fail is in your heart right now. But what about Jesus Christ? That's right. What about Jesus Christ? That's right. Man. You know, Jesus said, I believe, in the fourth chapter of Luke. Is that right, reader? Look what the words say here. Amen. People don't fail. What God can do. Listen, God can do worse than a rattlesnake. Oh, yeah. The rattlesnake might bite you, but you can get, go to the doctor and he might can shoot something in you and you live again. Is that right? Amen. But, but when we refuse Jesus Christ and that's over, amen, is that right? Amen. You won't have opportunity. See, you don't fail. Don't fail men. You know, we all came up, we sort of fed somebody. Is that right? You fed the bully or whoever. You fed somebody. Is that right? But what about fearing Jesus Christ? Is that 12th chapter? What about Jesus Christ? Do we fear him? That's right. I'm supposed to fear the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Man. Amen. Amen. People are so frightful and fair mm -hmm. of another man. That's right. And give a man in fair more honor That's than right. they give God in That's fair. Right. Is that right? That's right. Because you think he loves. Yes, he loves you. Compassionate God. He loves us. Yes, Won't to forgive you for your sin. Amen. Won't to treat you right. Is that right? Man. But you better have some fair for him. Because he can do more than any other thing in this world. Is that right? That's right. He can do more for us, to us. What does it say, read it? Luke 12 and 4. All right. And I say unto you. And my, I say unto you. My friends. My friends. Be not afraid of them that kill the body. Now you see this. And, and you know we all afraid of some man. I have been afraid of some man. Oh, is that right? You have been afraid of something. Absolutely. Oh, Come yeah. on now. Oh, yeah. We are fed the wrong one. Amen. Man. That's right. 
I want to fear God that I treat you right. I want to fear God that I come into church and pray and save my soul. I want to fear him. Is that right? I want to fear him enough to follow him. Amen. Because I know what he can do. You better go to God and take his yoke upon you and learn of him. Learn what God can do. What is there, reader? Be not afraid of them that kill the body. You see this? And after that have no more that they can do. That's right. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Listen at Jesus here talking. God fear in the flesh. Him. Fear him. Which after he had killed, hath power to cast in hell. Look up. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. All right. Let's stop fearing man. That's right. Stop fearing man. Amen. You fearing the wrong one. Stop fearing him. Yeah. Yeah. Bible tell me not to fear what he'll do to you. That's right. Because all he can do is kill the body. That's it. Is, is, is that right? Yeah. But he, he can't do anything about my soul. Oh, no. God have control of your soul. Oh, yeah. And the Bible says all souls belong to him, but that's the one that's sinning, he's going to die. That means that one that's sin going to be cast yeah. in hell. God's word is going out. That you look to Jesus Christ and get rid of your sins. Yes. Amen. While the earth is cool. Elements going to melt with fervent heat. God coming one day and destroy this old world. The That's world right. you love and won't give up to serve God because you love the world too much. That's exactly is that right? Amen. You love the world. You know what's in the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And nothing in the world that's going to help you. Uh -huh. For salvation. That's right. Is, is, is that right? Yeah. You got the pride of life, the lust of the eye. Yeah. You, see, this not this not gonna make it in God. Is that right? Amen. You're not doing the will of the Father. Yes. Well, I wanna warn you. I wanna warn you and let you go crazy if you want in the flesh, but you got a warning from Jesus Christ. Yes. Is, is, is that right? Oh, yeah. The word tell me all that is in this world. First John two and fifteen. You know. You know what it is. I love not the world. Let's see. The, see, this word telling me don't love the world. I see you living in the world. Yeah, I understand that. But I have to love things right in the world. That's right. That's right. The things that are wrong to love, I'm supposed to hate that. That's right. Yeah, is that right? Amen. I, I can live without wrongdoing. Amen. We can live without sin, you know. Surely. Is, is that right? Amen. What is it, reader? Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. What's in the world? If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. See, you don't love God. Some of us, with the love of this world in us, we don't love God. Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. If I love God, I'm going to do what he said. Is, is that right? Amen. What is it, reader? All that is in the world. All that is in the world. The lust of the flesh. The lust of what? Of the flesh. All right. And the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eye, what you see. And the pride of life. And the pride of is life. Is not of the Father. All right. We, we, we are accustomed to these things. That's right. Is, is that right? Come on. Amen. I know you, you can agree with me. Oh, yeah. this, is what, this is how we were brought up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what we have experienced. Oh, yeah. Amen. Is that right? Amen. The lust. What is that, reader? Lust of the eyes. Lust of the eyes. And the pride of life. The pride of life. Is not of the Father, but is of the world. You, do you see this? Amen. I want to let you know we loving these things today. We're not going to be helped from God for eternal life. Amen. We have to do something in God where we'll be helped to receive eternal life. And that's the same thing for everybody. You're going before that judgment seat now. Oh, yeah. Better think about what we've done in our life. And some things all of us have done or uh, said, we hope to God we never had done it or right. never have said it. Oh, yeah. Now's the time to repent. Yeah, that's right. Now's the time to go to God uh, and, and let the Lord know because he loves you. Say, Lord, forgive me for my sin. Man. Is that right? Man. And he's a sin bear. He can, he can move all your sins. Oh, yeah. I thank God for being a God that will move all my sins away. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Cleanse us. Jesus want to cleanse somebody today. Is that right? 
God want to help somebody today, but God can't help you if you don't take up your cross and follow him. Amen. Is, is that right? Amen. He can help you if we follow him. Yeah. Through all our trials and tribulations. Is that right? I'm going to take up my cross and I'm going to follow the Lord. Is, is that right? When we follow God, I, I, I'm, I'm looking to be saved when he comes. Yeah. Is, is that right? Thank God. And, and I want to, when I stand before the judgment seat of Christ, God knows mm -hmm. I want my sins forgiven upon this earth. That's right. I don't want to wait till I go before God. And I don't believe in purgatory. Mm -mm. I, I don't believe after you die, you can go to God and get forgiven for your sins. Oh, no. And then if you die in your sins, my God, you're going to have death upon you. Is that Amen. right? Amen. Jesus Amen. giving me the chance now. He, he doesn't want me to die. How I'm going to when you, let's like they say, when you're dead, you're done. Right. Have you ever known anybody to talk in the grave? Oh, no. if, if it is, you have strong illusion there, buddy. Something in your mind. <laughs> I'm glad I can't see ghosts. Some people used to tell me, say, when you're walking at night in the dark, you know, we little fellas coming up. Say, if you look over your left shoulder, you see a ghost. And I was afraid to look over my left shoulder because I didn't want to see the goat. So we were like walking by the graveyard, the moon shining and all that. And we walk into mine and say, you know, look back and see if you see that ghost. I go, look back. I didn't see anything. Thank you, Lord. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, start worrying about the dead. Dead can't praise God. We can praise God today. We, we can ask the Lord, Lord, bless me. Lord, keep me. Lord, strengthen me. You have power. You have power. You have all power. You have power to make another nation. What you talking about? God can forget about us and make another nation. But Lord, as long as this nation is going, I want to make it right before I go before the judgment seat of Christ. Oh, yeah. My God, examine yourself. Is that what the word says? Oh, yeah. And see whether you be in the faith. Oh, yeah. mm. don't, go, don't go running to any church because they have church on the outside. Oh, Lord. Ask God to lead you. Yeah. We have to realize it's not us. It's Jesus Christ that leads us. That's Amen. right. Isn't that right? We don't have a choice. No, we don't have a choice. God already set it in place. You don't have a choice. There's no choice. Is, is that right? To so say, you know, out of all the religions, things that are people in the world, say, a person can be confused. But I'll ask you this question here. I believe Jesus Christ, God created us, and somehow inside we have an instinct of God, of a superior being, that someone is in charge, right? And all you have to do is think about God. Dwell on who made everything. And Jesus said, you come to me. That's right. Is, is that right? Amen. Amen. Jesus said, if you do that, you come to him. That's right. You can. Oh, yeah. Sixth chapter of John and 40, mm -hmm. 44 and 45 verse. 45 verse. Amen. John 44, 6 and 44. All right. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. That's the only way you're going to get it. And I will raise him up at the last day. I will do what? And I will raise him up at the last day. Now I believe this. See, Jesus, Jesus Christ, you may as, hey, listen, we may as well get saturated with the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that right? That's the name. What does it say, Rita? It is written in the prophets. Yes. And they shall all be all taught of God. Yes. Every man, therefore, that hath heard. I have heard. And hath learned of the Father. And hath learned of God. Cometh unto me. Do y'all hear what Jesus said? Amen. He oh, yeah. said, come to me. That's right. Because right. who's going to do the teaching? The Lord going to do That's the right. teaching. That's right. That's right. And the prophets already said it. Yeah. Right. Isaiah already said it. That this gospel here that we are hearing is in the top of the mountain. Yes. 
Yeah. It is exalted above the hills. He said, all nations going to flow unto all me. Nations. Many people shall say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord's house, to the God of Jacob. And who will teach us? He will teach us. He will his teach way. us right. of his way. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. God going to teach the church. That's right. If you're in a false religion, you're not sure, look to God. And when you look to God and pray to God, you're going to have to come to Jesus Christ. That's right. That's for everybody in the entire world. Is that right? Yeah. When you pray, because you're going before the judgment seat of Christ. Is that right? Amen. Is that what they say? Read everybody going there. Amen. You may as well bring your mom and your grandmom and all of them come. <laughs> Is that right? Well, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. All of us. That everyone may receive the things done in his body. Wait a minute. How about someone else by it. that everyone may receive the things done in his why, why, why are we worrying about one another uh -uh. better pray that they be saved yeah. <laughs> is that right Man. don't worry about one another what about your soul That's right. That's right. Amen. don't need to worry about no one else and judging them you better, you're going before God for yourself why did they say read it that everyone may receive the things done in his body yeah. according to that he hath done. According to what you have done. Whether it be good. Whether it be good. Or bad. Man, let's, let's pray and get forgiveness for all these evil things because it's coming up before God. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. What we do. We persuade men. We do what? We persuade men. That's what I'm trying to do right now. That's right. I'm trying to persuade you to look to Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Look to Jesus Christ and be saved, people. Man. Is that right? Man. Man. See, every time you come forth, you talk about being saved. Well, what, is, what else it is to talk about? Right. Salvation. <laughs> Salvation means more. I, I see the word say, if you get God, yes, sir. all these things will be added unto you. That's what it says. Is that right? Man. But make sure your soul is in God. Is that right? Man. Get that kingdom first. That's right. Read it here, read a little more, and we're done. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We persuade you. But we are made manifest unto God. We are made manifest. God knows everything about us. And I trust yeah. also, uh, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Oh, wait a minute. In my conscience? And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Look out, every, all of us, in your conscience. Man. Is that right? Man. Manifest. I know your conscience is going to tell you. See, you, oh, know yes, what, you know what you did last night? Yeah. See, that was wrong. <laughs> you know that lie you told the other day? That was wrong. Man. You know that person you hated the other day? That was wrong. <laughs> is that right? Man. May God bless you through repentance and remission of sins, which should be preached unto the entire world in the name of Jesus Christ. Be baptized. All right. Man. You have been listening to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church and the Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostle Dots and Corporate. Located in Hartsville, South Carolina, where Bishop Joseph Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Tune in again to hear the word of God. You got to come.